off the port of Los Angeles, tugboat captain Josiah Layfield is full speed ahead to the next job. Great, we're gonna come watch you guys disconnect and get underway. Is it even busier than usual because of the, the backup? Yeah, it's it's been busy for a while. There seems to be more ships at anchor. More ships, in fact, than ever before. A record-setting traffic jam, nearly 80 ships, each carrying as many as 14,000 containers, and each container filled with tens of thousands of dollars of goods desperately wanted by American consumers. It's stuff that people are ordering or right. shipping or yeah. having sent. Yeah, and this is the season where we're getting uh, Christmas goods. And none of it is getting to shore fast enough. There's more ships out there than in the past because, you know, in the past you've never really seen ships waiting at anchor. From few, if any, ships forced to anchor and wait to 80. This container ship, along with others in the harbor, have been here up to 10 days. Finally, it's able to now dock and unload. Captain Layfield's job, refueling the ships so they can ultimately make it into port and beyond. So right now, this tugboat is approaching the barge, which you see right in front of me. The barge is refueling the ship that it's in the harbor, so hopefully it can move to its next destination. This is absolutely the, the single biggest event that we've ever seen in, in terms of a disruption to the supply chain. It's operating at somewhere between 50 and 60% of you know, pre-pandemic capacity. Making matters worse, the long waits here are met by a shortage of trucks to move items across the country, all of it leading to long delays for new furniture, appliances, even clothes and toys. The Pacific Ocean looks like the LA freeways. It's jam-packed. Jonathan Johnson is the CEO of Overstock.com. They only sell what they have in stock, but the challenge is stocking their warehouses. I think it's, for a time, the new normal. I think we can expect this well into 20. 22. And that's going to be at LA 402. But no matter how jammed it all gets, Perfect, yeah. the men and we women here are working day and night to keep a key part of our economy up to speed. There's work to be done. We're 24 seven. So we'll, we, you know, we get, we get the fuel to the ship so they can get back underway. Steve Patterson, NBC News off the California coast.